You're right there, Mark here from Six Plus. Today, showing you how to make a 3D UV curing station for very, very cheap. That is very effective as well. So, I'll show you in a minute how we get around to doing this. All right, so. This is an extremely simple process. I'm gonna put all the links in the description to all the supplies you would need, all right? Technically, you would need five supplies. That's it, all right? So, first thing you're gonna grab yourself is one of these UV lamps, okay? Uh, this one here is 60 watt UV lamp. Um, I have seen people using nail, um, uh, UV lamps and stuff like that with great effect, but this one here I know is just very very durable It will do the job. It will hold up nice thing about this one here as well Has an actual toggle switch built into it. Just pl fused plug Straightforward you can mount it if you want to make a slightly different setup Okay, so this is the first thing you need to get. This is your UV curing source all right that'll pump out the uv rays then if you get the set that I was on about you get this uv solar powered turntable this is a bonus if you want to have it the nice thing about this you'll put this in your container that i'll show you how i made it in a minute you put your resin parts on it and it just turns Simple as that. So then you're not worrying about the UV rays only hitting one side, which we'll mitigate in a minute with the next product. But this one is just very, very useful. I use it for outside use as well. But it's a lovely sunny day like it is today. I'll put my UV parts on here and I'll put them out in the sunshine. Free, free curing, isn't it? I'm not paying a lecky. I'm not paying anything like that. And then... Here is one of the important parts if you are then making one of these UV storage, uh, UV curing storage tub setups. This aluminum, aluminium tin foil tape. Okay. Uh, aluminum, aluminium, however you want to pronounce it, is um, it does reflect, refract and reflect UV rays. So what you do, you buy one of these rolls. And you just line your storage container okay so my storage container i grabbed it from local b and q i think it was or home base you can grab it if you're in the states or anything walmart any home depot place that has some form of decent storage um in all fairness poundland dollarama all these different places but as i said i'll put a link to one in the description and as you can see there all I've done, this is the longest part of the process. I just cut it into lengths using a sharp blade. Obviously, be careful. And just lined it. That's all I've done. That's all I've done. Just lined it. So now, as you can probably see with the camera, it's very reflective. Okay. Simple as that. So that's the inside lined. Doesn't matter what box you use, line the inside. Because then when the light source comes from above, or wherever you're putting the light source in, it bounces around. And then, to obviously hold the light above, you get yourself the lid. And what you do, you line it, and you leave a nice gap. And there you go. Sounds obvious. That, but then that will reflect all the light rays everything it'll bounce around in the box and you leave it there for the correct amount of curing time that you want to do and that's it the fifth item that I was on about is a sharp blade to cut the aluminum um tape you cannot tear this if you want to use some scissors um it will potentially blunt the scissors quite quickly because it is a metal tape so if you do have some disposable blades of some sort or anything like that 
use that instead and then some form of surface to obviously cut it on but please 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 be careful okay i don't want to hear anyone cut themselves and stuff like that like i've done in the past as you can kind of imagine but that is it and all you do you get your uv parts so let's just say i've printed out this one here and I want it to cure. Put it on top. Put the lamp on. Switch it on. Leave it X amount of time. Obviously that is your discretion. Whatever resin you're using. Whatever settings you're using. A couple minutes blast. Either side you're absolutely fine. But because you've got this layer of foil in there. It just bounces the light around. And I touch wood. Never had a problem. And that's it. That is the UV curing station in a nutshell. And it's very, very, very cost effective. Um, you can buy the wash and cure stations from like any cubic and Elegu and many of these brands. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They are good. But for me, they're like 100 to 120 plus pounds. And I'm like, well, this setup, the lamp cost me 30 quid. The rest of it was less than a tenner is <laughs> it's a, a no-brainer. No what you can do, if you do have an Ikea-like cabinet or something that you use in the store things in, you could fix this to the top of your cabinet and just have it attached. Then, you know, you just throw the stuff in the cabinet so it gives you a bigger area to cure parts because the only limitation you've got with this setup is the size of your box that you would use this in conjunction with but there's plenty of tape as you can see there i've still got plenty more to go so i could have gone double three times the size of the box but anyway i've waffled on enough i do hope this has helped you um it's definitely helped me just experimenting like this but anyway um if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up as i said the item links will be down in the description social media links and affiliate links will be down there as well Give them a gander. They do support the channel. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. More content will be coming out weekly. And as always, you always you take care of yourself. Thank you very, very much for watching for the end. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.